It is 12.05 p.m. March 30th. Just doing a knife overview. Just got this knife a couple days ago and I usually don't make videos on knives when I just get them, but I'm giving this to my nephew. And I just got this in the mail today too. A little Baron Son. Cute little slip joint. And I was surprised at the grind lines right here. Sorry, I'm going off topic a little bit. People who like Baron Son might give a fuck about this. You can see the little logos right there. That one is like darker. I don't know if they painted it or some shit in there. But this one is like smoother feeling on the logo. And this one, I don't want to say it's sharper, but just you can feel it more on the edges. I don't know, it just feels like higher quality. It just feels better. And they're the exact same logos. It's like they're the new Baron Sun logo and I don't know, I just noticed that and was like, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So just because of that, it made me want to fucking buy one, another one. Yeah, I'm giving this to my niece. So yeah, that's why I was like, damn, I want to buy one just for me. And I usually don't buy shit like this, but it was because of that right there. Purple Zippo, I thought that was pretty awesome. Look at that shit. It's like Joker colors, yeah. And I really want to keep this, but if I was a little kid and someone got me a pocket knife with a matching Zippo, I'd be jizzing my fucking pants, so might be hooking her up or not. So yeah, this is the Titan OTF. Bought this on Grindworks for about 35 bucks. It's made in China. Some cheap pot metal for the, the handle and uh, some mystery steel, stainless steel. And it has like a fucking switch that rattles around like crazy like I can hold this in place you can hear that and uh this switch on this one moves around a little bit but I can hold the blade in place you won't hear it rattling around the blade you'll hear that rattling around because it has a little bit of blade play to the side and up and down a little bit this one it has a crazy amount of blade play and side to side too and I'm not gonna lie right out of the box I was messing around with it and it maybe failed the first 11 times I was trying to open it within the first 20 times opening it it failed and after that before I made this video I was uh, opening it maybe 60 70 times now maybe like 80 times and it hasn't failed so I'm surprised it failed right opening it out of the box and uh, now it hasn't failed on me. If it fails in the video, I'll be surprised, but yeah, for the money you're paying for this, you know, if you're not looking to have some EDC knife that slices up shit well and it has some crazy edge retention, yeah, then this is a good blade. And if you're not looking for a self-defense knife because, you know, that that chance of it failing on you when you're trying to open it, yeah, I wouldn't rely on it for that. Something like this, I would say would be a good option for a self-defense knife. But if you're gonna be trying to beat the shit out of the knife and uh, doing something that might snap off the tip, then yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be using this knife. I would get something like this if you're just trying to have a beater OTF knife that you're not trying to rely to save your life or some shit even this knife some some people might say nah they, they wouldn't rely on that knife but i would say it's a reliable knife i bought this in august last year and the maybe 2000 2500 times i've opened and closed the knife it has not once failed on me the only time it's failed is when I try to stab it into shit like, you know, opening the knife like that, stabbing into some wood or something. Unless I made it fail, it has not failed on me. This knife, it failed right out of the box, so. Not saying it's a sh complete shitty knife, but I wouldn't uh, rely on it for self-defense just because of that reason. So, yeah. I uh, show this to the homie and, uh... He probably, you know, he doesn't know much about knives and shit, so he probably thought it was like some Microtech quality or something like that. So he was like, damn, you should send me one. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll send you one when I can. But uh, 
I might just uh, send him one, like, send him this instead. Be like, surprise, motherfucker. Got you something better. So, yeah, for the money you're paying for this, it's a great little OTF. I know they have a, a Lightning OTF, which is pretty much the same exact knife, like, quality, you know, wise. And the Lightning is older. I think that's from, like, 2009, 2010 or some shit, if I'm not mistaken. And... This, I'm not sure exactly when they released it, but I'm assuming like 2016, 2017, 2018. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's about the same as uh, the Lightning with all the different colors and uh, the variants and options and blade styles, blade coatings. They have like a Tonto blade double edge for the Lightning and uh, the, the Titan. And I only have two OTFs. Well, right now I have three because I have this one, but I only have two OTFs, the Boker, you know, get ready to bust a nut. Rob Dalton, Cupid clone. Oh, yeah. That's all you get to see of her. All right. So the feeling, the smoothness, you know, maybe you can hear it. This one just has that, that clanky feeling. And this one, I mean, some people might, who have a, you know, Microtech or a Guardian Tactical might say this is a shitty knife, the action on it, the way it feels, but compared to this, you can just feel the quality in your hand, judging by, you know, if you can tell the difference between aluminum and pot metal. Yeah, you can tell the dif you can you can feel the difference. Just that clanky feeling when it goes back into the knife, the handle, it just, you can feel it rattling around and it just feels lighter. I'm not sure if the actual weight of this is lighter, but yeah, judging right right now, this one feels heavier, even though it's aluminum and this is a, some cheap pop metal. That grip tape, it ain't too bad, honestly. If you wear it out more than, yeah, it'll probably feel just right but right out of the box it's really fucking grippy like some cold steel grivex or some shit i mean there's not any of it under the the pocket clip so at least they did that right if you're planning on carrying this around if it's illegal or if you don't give a fuck because criminals don't right all right so titan otf overview I'm out.